Welcome to Mika Mode College Online Tutorial. We hope at the end of this lesson, you will have acquired the expected learning outcome. Sit down and listen attentively as we introduce. Hello students, I am Mr. Salam Yee. Welcome back to physics class. Today we are going to look at fundamental and derived quantities. Then fundamental quantities are the basic quantities that are independent of others and cannot be defined in terms of other quantities. Then in fundamental quantity, they depend on their own. You don't define fundamental quantity in respect of other quantity. They are independent. The most basic fundamental quantities are length, mass, and time. These are the three basic we have. We have other examples of fundamental quantity, but the three basic we have, they are length, mass, and time. And that is why it's only these three we also use when we get to what? Dimensions also. Then other fundamental quantities are electric current, temperature, amount of some surfaces, ETC. Then the examples of fundamental quantities and their units are summarized in the table below. Take a look at it. This is the quantity. Here, the next column here will have unit, and the other one will have what? Unit abbreviation. Then, number one here, we have length. What's the unit of length? We have it in meter. And the abbreviation of this unit here, it is written as what? M. Then we have time, which is measured in second. Then the abbreviation of this second here is what? S. We have mass. The mass is measured in what? Kilograms. And the unit of this, the abbreviation of this unit here, we have what? Kg. We have temperature. Temperature is measured in Kelvin. Then the abbreviation of this Kelvin here, we have it in what? K. We have amount of substance. The amount of substance here has its own unit. And it is measured in what? Mole. The abbreviation of this is what? M-O-L. Mole. Then the next one, we have what? Electric current. The unit of this electric current is what? Ampere. Which shows that what? Electric current is measured in ampere. And the abbreviation of this unit here is what? A. Then, after fundamental quantity, we will take a look at what? Derived quantity. Derived quantity. Are those obtained by some combination of the fundamental quantity? Then, when two or more fundamental quantities are combined, we don't call it fundamental again. We call it what? Derived quantity. Because it, they have been derived from what? Fundamental quantity. They depend on the fundamental quantity. The examples of derived quantity, their derivation and their units are summarized in the table below. Then take a look at the table we have here. The first column here we have derived quantity. The next one we have their derivation and we have what derived unit. Then number one here we have area. What's the formula for this area here? We have it in what? Length and breadth. That is length multiplied by Bread. Then the unit of this length is in meter. That is why we have this M here. The unit of breadth here is also in meter. That is why we also have another M here. Then when this M is being multiplied by another M, we have what? M square. The M here that stands on its own, it is in power of 1. Then the other one is also in power of what? 1. Then according to law of indices, when we are having the two power here and the sign between the two uh, quantity is in multiplication, you add the power. Then the first one here is in power of 1. The second one here is in power of 1. And when you add this first one and the other one together, it gives us what? 2. That is why we have this M here to be in power of what? 2. Then the SI unit of area now, that is the unit of what? The right unit of area now is in what? Meter square. Then the next one we have here is volume. Volume here in derivation, we have length multiplied by breadth multiplied by what? Height. The length here is also in meter, which is m. The breadth here is also in meter, which is also m. And the height here is in meter, which is also what? m. And when this m multiplied by m, multiplied by m, you have what? m raised to power 3. That is m cube. Therefore, the unit of volume here is in what? Meter cube. Meter cube. Then we have velocity. Velocity here, the definition of this, now derivation of this velocity here is what? Displacement all over time displacement 
all over time. The displacement here is measured in what? Meter. Therefore, the derived unit of displacement is in meter. Then time here is measured in second, which is S. The derived unit of time here is in what? Uh, second. And when meter here, look at it now. Meet, we now have it as what? Meter divided by second. The second here is same thing as what? Meter multiplied by 1 all over S. And 1 all over S here is the same thing as what? Inverse of what? S. And when you multiply meter, multiply by what? Inverse of S, we have it as what? Meter multiplied by what? M raised to power, uh, S raised to power what? 1, which is still the same thing as what? Meter per second. Therefore, the derived unit of velocity here is what? Meter per second. Now, let us look at what? Acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity with time. That is change in velocity divided by what? Time. That is its what? Derivation. Then come back to the what? Derived unit here. We said that what? Velocity is measured in what? Meter per second. That is why we have this word meter per second here. And when meter per second is being divided by what? Second. Which is simply as one multiplied by what? Uh, S raised per minus 1. That is, if you are changing this sign of division here to multiplication, what will happen now? The 1 that we're supposed to have here now will, come, uh, will go up. That is, come down. S will go up. Then from there, you multiply this uh, per second by meter per second. You have it as what? Meter per second square. Meter per second square. Which means the unit, the right unit of this acceleration here is what meter per second square that means that what meet acceleration is measured in meter per second why velocity here is measured in what meter per second then acceleration is measured in what meter per second square why velocity is measured in what meter per second now let us take a look at density density here we have it as what well, mass all over volume mass all over volume remember that we say mass is measured in kg why volume is measured in what? Meter cube. Meter cube. And if you are, want to change this sign of what? Uh, what is it called? Uh, division to multiplication. What will happen? The meter cube now is same as what? Meter cube all over one. The one as the denominator will go up. Why the meter will come down? That is why we have here to what? One all over what? Meter cube. Then when you multiply this kg, multiply by one all over meter cube, what we are going to have here now becomes what kg per meter cube that is kilogram per meter cube which shows that what the unit we have here as what kilogram per meter cube is the si unit of density that means that density is measured in kilogram meter per uh, kilogram per meter cube now let us look at force force can be defined as mass Multiply by acceleration. That is the product of mass and acceleration gives us what force. Then what's the SI unit of mass is kg. Then what's the SI unit of what acceleration is what meter per second square. We have done that before. Then when you multiply kg by meter per second square, what you are going to have here becomes what kilogram meter per second square. And since one kilogram meter per second square is same as what one unit, one newton, I mean, therefore force can also be measured in newton. That is why we see it in bracket now as what n, which means force can be measured in what kg meter per second square, or it can also be measured in newton. Now let us look at what work, which is same as what work done. And uh, we need to understand that work done can be defined as the product of force and distance product of what? Force and distance. That is why we have force multiplied by distance. Remember we said that what? Force is measured in what? Kg meter per second square. And we all know that distance is measured in what? Meter. That is why we are seeing this M here. And when you multiply this by this, you have what? Kg meter square. Because this is meter, this is another meter. Meter multiplied by meter, you have meter square. That is why we are having this meter square at the middle here. Then if you multiply everything together here, we have kilogram meter square per second square that is the unit of what work done and since kilogram meter square per second square one of it is the same thing as what one joule therefore work done can also be measured in uh, joule then if you don't want to use this it can also be measured in what newton meter come back to the word the derivation here force is measured in newton uh, this time is measured in what meter 
Then when Newton is being multiplied by meter, you have it as what? Newton meter. Which means all these three units here now can be measured by what? Work done. Any of the units you use here to represent the unit of work done, they are okay. That is that for that. Now let us look at uh, power. Power is the rate at which work is done. Which means power is equal to work. Work done all over time taken. Then what's the unit of work done? It's in Joe. The unit of work time is in what? Second. Which is the same as what? Joe multiplied by one all over second. And if you want to use the idea of indices, one all over second is the same thing as what? Per second. Then when you multiply per second by this joule, you have joule per second. Then which means the unit or the SI unit of power here is what? Joule per second. That shows that what? Uh, power can be measured in joule per second. Now take a look at pressure. Pressure is the force all over area. What the unit of force is Newton? Area is in what? Meter square. We have done that before. And if you want to change this sign now to multiplication now, you will now have it as what? Newton multiplied by 1 all over meter square. Then using the same idea of indices, the M will go up. No, we have done that before. Then using the idea of indices, inverse of M square now is the same thing as what? Meet per, uh, per meter square. We call it what? Per meter square. And when you multiply this per meter square by this Newton, which is N we have here, you have what? Newton per meter square. Which shows that what? The pressure can be measured in Newton per meter square. The Newton per meter square is the derived unit, while the pressure is the what? Derived quantity. The unit we have for this, the quantity, is the derived unit. The quantity itself here is what? Pressure. Then derived unit of this pressure now becomes what newton per meter square then finally we look at what momentum momentum is the product of mass and velocity and what's the unit of mass here is kg the velocity here is what meter per second we have done that before and when you multiply meter per second by this kg which is kilogram we are arrive at what kilogram meter per second which is the si unit of uh, momentum now, in conclusion, if you look at all these derived uh, units here now, go to force now. That's example six we have here now force. Where we have a kg meter per second square. And I told you that what well, this kg meter per second square, since one of it is also the same thing as what? Well, one newton. Therefore, force can also be measured in what? In newton. Then the same thing happened to work done and power. Then look at work done. What we have here now is kg meter square uh, per second square, which is also measured in joule. And it can also be measured in what? Newton meter. And when you take a look at what? Power now. Power now, we said that power is measured in what? Joule per second. Remember that what? Power can also be measured in what? In what? In case if you are solving some problems or uh, solving some questions in textbook and you will come across what? W. Oh, in open bracket W. In, in some cases, it will not be in bracket. They will just write W. Don't be surprised at all. Why W? Now, instead of what? Joule per second, what, uh, power can also be measured in what? Watt. Which is in abbreviation, we have it in what? W. Then the same thing happened to this uh, pressure here. Now, we have it, the unit to be what? Newton meter per second square. And Newton, since one Newton meter per second square represents one Pascal, therefore, pressure can also be measured in Pascal. That is that for that. We thank God for the end of the lesson for today. That is all. God bless you.